Hi, I'm Dave Crockta, National Sales Manager for Alltech Corporation in Flemington, New Jersey. Today we're here to tell you about our new AMT series, our Universal Digital Multi-Timer. These new timers are selling like hotcakes. Being from New Jersey, I don't even know what a hotcake is. But the saying's been around for a long time, so they must sell well. And so do these new timers. And here's why. Comprised of four different models, featuring eight or 18 timing functions, with the highest flexibility in automation and control applications. Each available with either one single pole double throw or two normally open contacts. The AMT series compact frame comes loaded with unique features. Certified UL in Canada and the US. Flexible mounting options, either DIN rail or panel mount. A compact size of only 17.5 millimeters in width. A 24 to 265 volt AC-DC universal supply voltage. Timing diagrams, wiring diagrams, programming instructions, all printed on the sides of the AMT series. 8 amp relay output contacts. The industry's widest timing range of 0.1 seconds to 999 hours. And its most powerful feature, its digital LCD display showing current runtime information. All these features, along with its very attractive pricing, make it the most user-friendly timer in the industry. Universal voltage, wide time range, multi-functions really bring out the flexibility of the AMT series. Setup of the AMT series is made simple with all of these features. With the use of these two buttons, set and adjust, and a convenient LCD screen, all configurations can be done either at the panel shop or in the field. After powering up the unit, the default screen will appear. To enter programming mode, both buttons set and adjust are pressed and held simultaneously for three seconds. At this point, the timing mode in the middle of the left screen will begin flashing. By pressing and releasing the adjust button, you'll be able to toggle through all eight or 18 timing functions listed conveniently on the side of the unit and in the provided manual. After finding the function you require, press the set button. The timing mode in the middle left will stop flashing and the timing range in the bottom left corner will start to flash. Here you'll be able to choose between eight different units of measurement that will determine your maximum timing range. After selecting the time range, pressing the set button, the timing range will stop flashing and your first digit of your preset time will begin to flash. Select the required number and press set. Repeat until all digits are set. At this time, the preset time is set and will stop flashing. And the counting mode will start flashing in the lower right corner. By pressing the adjust button, you can decide between the two counting modes. This will decide what runtime is displayed during timer operation either elapsed time or remaining time. For counting down, the hour points downwards and the remaining time is displayed. For counting up, the hour points upwards and the display will show the elapsed time during operation. Once decided, push set. Counting mode stops flashing and programming is done. So utilizing the programming that we just completed, our timer will operate in a signal off delay after 10 seconds. Powering on the Alltech multi-timer. After triggering the off delay, the output state LED on the front of the unit will show the output contact is on, and the display will show the 10 second countdown. After 10 seconds, the timer will close the output contact. Very simple and easy to use. Security lights, parking gates, and many, many more applications can utilize these timers. For more information, go to our website or call us today. We've got a product manager waiting to answer any questions you may have. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.